She says that that patient came in with shortness, shortness of breath and other lung issues and did have a history of vaping. Now she is hoping that other researchers and doctors can find out what it is that's making people sick. What is it about this particular vaping device and these, these solutions that is causing such rapid um, deterioration in these patients? Dr. Sarah Reed with Arkansas Children's Northwest says right now it's hard to pinpoint what exactly is causing people, especially teens, to get sick. The big push right now is to look at those particular patients, teenagers and young adults that have been affected so severely, try to figure out what patterns there are. Was it a particular flavor? Was it the nicotine? Was it the use of marijuana in these vaping um, devices? Perhaps we can figure figure out why certain kids are getting sicker than others. More research and testing is needed to determine if it's THC, nicotine, or the oil that's found in vaping devices. The lung is not equipped to clear those secretions, and so you end up clogging off small airways. The thought is maybe these oils are not being processed well by the body and can't be cleared from the lungs. And so then it's essentially coating the inside of the lungs. Reed says she believes that new laws and policies are needed to create awareness about the dangers of vaping, especially with kids being targeted by marketing tactics. Well, by putting out these policies, people hear about it more. And so you at least are raising the awareness in the community that, oh wait, maybe this isn't as safe as we were told. Earlier this month, the Arkansas Public Health and Welfare Committee announced a statewide study on the dangers of vaping. Their goal is to curb vaping among the youth and to figure out the cost to taxpayers. And we also know that school districts are reporting that the number of vaping related infractions for students is way up and that includes suspensions.